in the last lecture we created an angular project using angular cli and we are running that angular project on localhost port number 4200 so if i go to the browser this is how currently our angular application looks like now in this lecture we are going to change the look and feel of this angular application and we are also going to create some components for our angular application so let's go to vs code and if I go to source folder, there we have this app folder inside which we have our app component. And if I go to app component.html file, you will see some CSS and HTML inside this app component.html file. And it is this HTML and CSS which is currently getting rendered in the UI. If I go ahead and if I remove everything from here, if I save the changes, and now if I go to our application, you will see that now it is not rendering anything in the UI because we have removed all the HTML and CSS from this app component.html file. Now here for now, let me go ahead and let me add h3 element. And here let's say this is app component. Let's save the changes. And now if I go to our application, you will see that here an h3 element has been rendered. All right. Now the first thing which I'm going to do now before we generate any component for this angular application is I'll go to style.css file and here I'm going to add some global CSS style for this angular application and to save some time I have already written some CSS so I'm going to copy it from here let's go to our angular application and let's paste it inside this style.css so basically what I'm doing here is I am importing a Google font called Roboto and I'm also importing font awesome. So if you want to use any icons in our application, we are going to use font awesome for that. And the version which I'm using here is 4.7.0. Then I'm also setting margin padding and box sizing for all the HTML elements globally. And I'm also setting the font family for the application body to Roboto and background color to this white color. So this is all we have in style.css. Let's save the changes here. And now if I go to our application, you will see that that font family has been applied here. Next, we are going to create some components. So for that, I'm going to open VS Code built-in terminal. And here I'm going to select command prompt. Let's delete this PowerShell. All right. And in order to generate component for this angular application again we can use angular cli so for generating a component we can use ng generate command here we want to generate a component so in short i can write it as c and then let's say i want to generate a home component so if i press enter it should create a home folder inside this app folder and in that home folder we will have all the files related to home component okay in the same way let's create one more component i am going to call it as courses component so again in the app folder a new folder called courses will be created as you can see and in that courses folder we will have all the files related to that courses component then let's also go ahead and let's create a counter component so let's get back that ng generate component command and here I also want to generate a counter component let's press enter and again in the app folder a new folder called counter will be created and in that counter folder we will have all the files related to counter component and finally let's also generate a header component so again we are going to use ng generate command we want to generate a component and we are going to call that component as header now a header folder has been created and in this header folder we will have all the files and folders related to header component all right now let's first go to app component so here i'll go to app component.html file there currently we have an h3 element here but here i want to add some divs and again in order to save some time i have written some html for app component also so i'll copy this html from here Let's go to Visual Studio Code and let's 
paste that HTML here. Let's save the changes. And to design this HTML, I have also written some CSS. So here I also have app component.css file. And inside that, I have the CSS style for the CSS classes which we are using in the app component. So if you see in this app component on this div, I'm using this CSS class. So to define the CSS styles for that CSS class, let's open app component.css and in there, let's paste the CSS which we have copied. Let's save the changes. Here, now let's close this app component.css and this app component.html or maybe I'll keep it open, but I'll close this style.css file. Next, we are also going to add some HTML and CSS in the header component. So here I'll open header component.html and currently here we have a paragraph element, but here I want to add some HTML to display a header in the UI. And again, in order to save some time, I have this header component.html file. I'll copy this HTML. And again, I will share all these files with you. So I'll share a link, a resource link from where you can get all these files and you can copy the HTML and CSS from these files and use it for your own practice. So I'll copy this HTML. Let's go back to VS Code and let's paste that HTML there. So here what we are doing, we are creating a header. Inside that header, I have a header logo. I'm calling it as ng app. Then I have a div inside which I am defining some header links. So home, counter, courses. And then I also have another div where I am defining links for login and sign up. And also we have a logout button there. So let me save the changes here. And now let's go ahead and let's use the selector of this header component, which is app header in the app component. So here we have this app component.html open. So in place of this comment, where it says use header component selector here, I'm going to use the header component selector and the selector for the header component is app header. With this, if I save the changes and if we go to our application, you will see a header has been added and in that header we have the logo, we have the links like home, counter, courses, etc. And we also have this login and sign up link and this logout button. Now to design this header, I have also written some CSS. So again, we have this header component.css file. From this file, you can copy all the CSS for the header component. So I'll go ahead and I will copy it from here. And let's go to VS Code. Let's open header component.css file. And in there, I'm going to paste the CSS, which I have just copied. All right. And let's save the changes. Let's go to our application now. And now you will see that we have a header created. And this header is also styled and designed. Now, before wrapping up this lecture, what I'll also do is I will go to courses component. I'll go to course component.html. And from there, I will remove this paragraph and I'll add an H3 element. And here, let's say courses component. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's also go to counter component.html. And there also, let's remove the paragraph. And here, let's say counter component. And finally, let's go to home component. Let's go to home component.html. And from there also, let's remove the paragraph. And here, let's say home component. And with this, let's save the changes. Now, currently in our UI, we are only displaying the header. In the next lecture, what we are going to do is we are going to implement routing for this Angular application. So when the home link is clicked, it should render the view template of home component. When the counter link is clicked, it should render the view template of counter component. And when the courses link is clicked, it should render the view template for courses component. We are also going to implement the login and sign up, but not in the next lecture, in the future lecture of this course. And we will also implement the logout functionality. But in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's add routing in our Angular application. And let's create some routes for this home link, counter link and courses link. This is all from this lecture. And I will also share these files, these HTML and CSS files in the resource link. So you can get it from there. 
If you have any questions from this lecture, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.